All right, so I was just downstairs unloading some paint and the car hauler is here. So that's happening today. bummer that it's going, but at the same time. And there it goes, down the highway towards the East Coast. I'm Chris Meyer. Join me and the Legendary Customs team as we take ordinary rides and craft them into Legendary Customs. Behind me is the 1966 Chevelle and the day has come. Tomorrow, this is going on to a car transport and going to the East Coast. But before we send it off, we wanna go through the whole build so you can see. Now, if you've been watching all the episodes, you can take and look back from when this thing started on a rotisserie after sitting for seven years in my shop to today. This was supposed to be my vehicle and unfortunately, it is not. So that's my one regret that this thing is going down the road to the East Coast to a place that I probably won't see it again. But anyway, enough with that. Let's get to the car. If you like what you see, hit the like button down below and give us a comment. The 66 Chevelle started out as a matching 138 car. For the Chevelle world, everybody knows that's a true SS. This actually is a matching numbers car when it comes to the engine. It is the original engine that came in it. We have had it rebuilt to a little bit higher horsepower than it came at the factory. We're not gonna disclose how much, but a little bit more than what it came at. This thing started out in pretty rough condition, but as you can see in all the episodes, it's pretty beautiful now. We would call this a restoration more than we would call it a custom. It is a stock 1965 or 66 marina blue color. So that act, this is actually a color that came from the factory. And the interior is the stock black on black interior with all of the SS badging on it. We're gonna start right up here in the front one of the changes that we made, this was a drum rear, drum front car. We did change it over to drilled and slotted rotors along with the disc brakes. So this should stop this thing better than it ever did from the factory. The rear, we actually did leave it drum. So it's original there and it has the original rear end that has been rebuilt. So under the hood,
we did some slight customizations. It's supposed to be a flat or a satin black for paint. And we actually painted the entire under the bonnet in the marina blue. It just is a nicer finish and a little bit of a custom. We did go with the smooth firewall. It's the original. It actually has 138 stamped in it from the factory. We left that obviously, but we smoothed it out, painted it, and changed everything over to power brakes. We also changed it to power steering. Put in a bigger radiator, aluminum, which will help cool things down faster. And of course, we have the vintage air air conditioning. So on hot summer days, just flip on the air conditioning and it's good to go. Now on the interior, it is black on black. So we have a brand new carpet, brand new vinyl seats, and brand new door cards. Brand new weather stripping, brand new everything, just like you would expect in a restoration. Now we did mess with the interior a little bit by doing a blackout look on it. So some of the chrome accents that are normally there, instead of buying new, we kept the original and we did a beautiful black out of the dash. And quite frankly, I like it a lot better than the chrome because it just, it's more subtle of a look. And again, just a small, small step into the custom side of things. It is a four speed Muncie M21 transmission. The exact same thing that would have came in it from the factory. Date code correct. It is not the original transmission. However, again, it's everything that it would have been and it's just one month off from what it would have come from the factory. But it's really comfortable. We put brand new seat cushions in it before we put on the new interior and it is soft and it is comfortable. Back seat, same thing, new covers, new headliner. Everything on this bad boy is new. Just, again, the one regret that I have is it's not staying here in Wisconsin so I can keep seeing it because I know this thing, the fit and finish of it at car shows, I know it's gonna do very, very well. Now, the trunk, I'll have to get the keys. Okay, with all the things that we were doing with this car, we could not, I could not leave the trunk stock. So, we didn't do a real fancy padded and quilted interior, but we did do a nice, simple, elegant interior just to clean it up. All of this, as you've seen in all the episodes coming up to here, has sound deadening material in it. This just helps hide some of that and it just makes it quieter inside of the vehicle. But it's just a real nice finish. The exact same material that is on the seats is on this. So even though they never came this way from the factory, it looks like it fits and belongs. It's not something outrageous. It's just nice and simple. Now the custom touches that we have in the trunk are met with the stock features that would have come from the factory. We did use the black with teal splatter coat paint, which is what they did the trunks in. So again, when you pop it, it looks like it's correct. Just a little bit of a custom touch. Now when this Marina Blue was first chosen by our customer, I did have reservations because I've never seen this color in person, live. I've seen it in pictures. And blue, to me, some blues are awesome, some blues just don't hit it. And I thought this was gonna be one of those blues that just didn't hit it. But after we did just a small spray out, this blue is beautiful. And I would do another car in this without any hesitation whatsoever. So when you get it on the East Coast and when it's in the sunshine, it has some crazy flips with the color, which for an original 1966 color, to have the flips that this one does have, it's crazy because at certain angles, it looks like a teal. At other angles, it looks like a purple. And then at other angles, it looks like what you're seeing on the camera right now, just this beautiful marina blue. It's an awesome color. 
We did stay with the original SS style wheels, the rally wheels, beautiful chrome trim rings, and of course the stock center caps. And for an old school touch, Rick requested that we put on the BF Goodrich radials, which was a very popular tire back in the 70s and the 80s. So we went back with those. They fit the car, beautiful look. And again, it just goes back to more of a restoration than a customization. I can't say enough about this car. It was an awesome build for us and the team. We had a lot of people touch this car, and if you could imagine over the three years of on and off and on and off that it was. But the long and the short is the last six months have been heavy on it, and this is the finished project. I am proud of the guys, and again, the one regret keeps coming up in my mind that it's leaving Wisconsin and going to the East Coast. As always, each and every one of you are appreciated for watching. If you like what you see, hit the like button below. Of course, share our videos and subscribe down below. It is very much appreciated. If you have something sitting in your garage that you have not been able to get to, send us a message. Maybe we can fit it into our schedule. Each and every one of you are appreciated. Keep watching. Thanks to everybody.